Hello. Hello. I was having uh, trouble with the connection, but uh, I am here right now. So I'm so sorry for being late. Eh, tenía un pequeño problema de conexión, pero ya estamos aquí conectados. Eh, ya lo resolví, así que espero que no nos dé más problemas en el futuro. So, we are going to start with another session. This is the session number eh, four. Um, we are going to um, talk about a different topics. In this case, we are going to talk about things that we have on our backs. And also we are going to um, learn about this and this when we are using singular and plural uh, words. So the first thing that we are going to do is uh, talk about things on our backs. It is a vocabulary that we are going to practice. And also you are going to tell me um, the different things that you have on your bag. Um, that are very important for you and you need to have on your bag. Vamos a hablar de las cosas que tenemos en nuestras carteras, en nuestras mochilas. Y vamos a ver los ejemplos que se nos ponen acá en, um, en la plataforma. Y luego vamos a ver cuáles son las cosas que en realidad nosotros andamos en nuestras mochilas. So I'm going to share the screen with you because you are going to see an image in which we have some words like this. So give me a second. I'm going to move this a little bit. And this is the example of the things that we can have on our backs. Um, but I know that uh, we have a lot of things more. Este es un ejemplo de cosas que nosotros podemos andar en nuestras maletas. Pero vamos a ver que en la vida real nosotros utilizamos muchas más cosas de las que se presentan en la imagen. Uh, the question, what is in your bag? ¿Qué hay en tu maleta, en tu cartera, en tu mochila? And we have uh, some examples here. We have an address book, un eh, libro, un cuaderno donde notamos como, eh, podemos decir direcciones, but in this case it is uh, kind of different in real life because um, now we have the cell phones, the smartphones, in which we search for the information and it's easier for us to have that kind of information on our cell phones than in another book. Um, todo, toda la información básicamente nosotros la andamos en nuestros teléfonos. Ya no necesitamos andar este tipo de documentos o libros o cuadernos donde anotemos todo esto, pero este es un ejemplo. Then, a camera. Otra cosa que tal vez no andamos, a menos que nuestro trabajo sea fotografiar eh, ciertas cosas, no andamos una cámara porque igual ya tenemos nuestros celulares. Then, a hairbrush. I know that eh, many people has a hairbrush on their backs um, because it is necessary when we have like very long eh, periods of time outside our house. Cuando tenemos eh, periodos largos en los que no llegamos a casa y tenemos trabajo eh, prácticamente todo el día, a veces andamos cargando un cepillo, un peine, something like that. Porque es por lo del mismo de la presentación. The keys. That is very, very important to have the keys on our bags. La llave sí la vamos a andar sí o sí en nuestra maleta. Next one, a wallet. Again, that is very, very important thing that we need to uh, have on our bags. Una cartera, una billetera. The cell phone, también es una cosa bastante importante. Um, sunglasses, in the case that people that use sunglasses or the um, normal glasses like this, because we need to use this kind of glasses to read or in our daily life. Siempre tenemos que andar un par de lentes, más que todo, cuando um, tenemos algún problema de visión, baja visión, miopía, whatever we have. Y hay unas personas que también utilizan las sunglasses o los lentes de sol y los andan en su maleta. The next one, is, I think that um, nowadays it is not like we use that kind of things or we don't have that kind of element in our bag. 
es un CD player que ahora en la actualidad no es tan utilizado. Pero antes, pues, se utilizaba mucho. Ahora tenemos nuestro celular. But we can change the CD player for the headphones. Podemos utilizar los audífonos. Podemos andar cargando los audífonos. So, I need you to think about the, eh, the things that you have on your back. Quiero que piensen en las cosas que ustedes tienen en sus carteras, en sus maletas, en sus mochilas. O en el caso de qué llevan ustedes cuando salen de casa, van a un viaje, van al trabajo, o algo así. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to think about the, uh, the things that you have on your back. And then we are going to write some elements on the chat. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que piensen cuáles son las cosas que ustedes andan en su maleta, mochila, cartera. Y los vamos a ir escribiendo en el chat. Van a ir escribiendo ustedes sus elementos. Y yo voy a ir haciendo las listas para comparar la imagen que tenemos en la pantalla con las cosas que en realidad nosotros andamos en nuestra maleta. So, I'm going to give you like five minutes and then we are going to give the answer. Cinco minutos para pensar las cosas que andamos en la maleta y luego me van a empezar a escribir en el chat cuáles son esas cosas y yo las voy a ir escribiendo. So, let's go. Tenemos algunas cosas ya en el chat. Vamos a comenzar a revisarlas y escribirlas para ver cuáles son las cosas que andamos en nuestras maletas, mochilas, carteras. 
And the first place we are going to write here. But give me a second. Here, vocabulary. And we have a computer. Then sunglasses. Airphones. Keys. Pencil. Then we have wallet. Cell phone. Pen. A water bottle. Book. That brush. Candies, good. A tablet. Notebook. Phone charger. USB. Bubble gum. Snacks. Trash. <laughs> That's true. Trash. Medicine. Y okay, vamos a esperar un poco más por otros. Eh, Elementos que podemos andar en nuestra mochila, pero ya tenemos varias cosas importantes acá. Vamos a empezar a leer esto para mientras terminan de escribir los demás. Um, a computer, in this case, is related to the, um, the things we do in our day. In my case, I, am a, I have a computer on my back. Así que los que utilizan eh, o van a trabajar según el trabajo, estudio o las cosas que hacemos durante el día. We are going to have a computer on our backs. Siempre vamos a tener que cargar una computadora. Eh, next one, sunglasses. Para estar protegidos, ¿verdad? De la luz solar que eh, puede llegar a dañarnos bastante. Next one, earphones. Es como algo bastante necesario cuando necesitamos tomarnos un momento para relajarnos, para eh, tener como un momento solo para nosotros y no el ruido de afuera. Eh, ok. Luego, keys, importantísimo andar las llaves, ya sea de la casa, del carro, de algún locker or something like that. Eh, pencil and pen, andar lapiceros y lápices, también es bastante importante a la hora de tomar apuntes. Wallet, eso ya sabemos que es esencial, no nos puede faltar nuestra cartera, billetera, porque necesitamos andar nuestros documentos importantes y obviamente dinero. The cell phone también es una parte importante que no podemos olvidar. Eh, water bottle. Es, es bastante importante andar una botella, ¿verdad? Eh, para cargar el agua porque así sabemos que llegamos a un oasis, podemos eh, volver a llenarla y, e incluso eso nos va a ahorrar eh, un poco de dinero. That's a very uh, the good idea. Um, then we have a book. Para las personas a las que les gusta mucho leer eh, y que pueden estar mucho tiempo maybe waiting, eh, esperando en a bank or something like that. Eh, 
es bastante bueno que anden cargando un uh, book. largas, donde tenemos que quedarnos en un lugar por mucho tiempo, and we need to have this kind of things. The toothbrush is something very important. Then, candies, that's a good idea to have candies on our bags, uh, because in that case, we can eat uh, some candy when we are like sleepy. Then, we have a table, like, in that case, is when you have this kind of work, uh, the notebook, It's important to have a notebook because you need to write something uh, or have some details. You can do it on your notebook. The phone charger is basic because you have your phone and you need to have the, your charger too. Then we have the USB. In the case you need to uh, exchange information with someone else. Bubble gum is for the long periods of times you need to maintain or keep you in movement um snacks that's very important to have snacks on your bag then trash it's something that i think many people has um trash on their bags because we eat something and then put the trash on our bags a medicine important to have medicine so let's go i have um some messages more so we are going to check the things that you are saying vamos a ver los otros mensajes uh, planner that's good hand sanitizer then money of course Lotion. Good. Then a diary. Very good. Okay. Thank you. grande la que tenemos entre las cosas que nosotros pusimos en nuestro en nuestro vocabulario con las cosas que aparecen ahí um, we in these years we have more um, things that we can use to prevent uh, sickness <coughs> I'm sorry Um, ahora, después de todos estos años, con lo de la pandemia, ya andamos más cosas que tienen que ver con salud, ¿verdad? Eh, we have alcohol, we have, eh, I don't know, gloves, for example, eh, tissues or something like that. And in that case, we also use those in our bags. Um, in my case, I have my cell phone, I have my wallet. Um, let's see, my phone charger, a hand sanitizer, um, my headphones, face mask, um, 
what more. A coin pouch es como una, um, un monedero. A coin pouch. Eh, my glasses. Uh, eh, a bottle of water. Mm, pencil, pen, colors. Um, a notebook. And a lot of things more. Uh, en, mi mal, en mi mochila sí hay eh, a lot of things. Porque es el, el ambiente en el que nos eh, envolvemos o nos desenvolvemos. So, you have the list here of the things that you use on your bags. So, now, we are going to see the next topic. Vamos a ver el siguiente tema. En este caso, la primera era el vocabulario. Y el siguiente es un tema de gramática. But let me check something. Solo déjenme eh, revisar algo y continuamos. Okay, we are going to continue with the second topic. In this case, it is not related to the vocabulary. It is, um, we can say it is a grammar topic because we are going to see the difference between the use of this and this. So it can sound kind of the same, but it is not. The topic is this and this. We are going to know what are this topic about and how can we use it in our daily life. Vamos a ver de qué trata este tema. Es como un tema gramatical. Vamos a hablar un poco de gramática y el uso que se le da a estas dos palabras, el this y el this. En este caso, um, vamos a utilizar singulars and plurals. Vamos a hablar siempre de lo que es el, el plural y el singular para el uso de estas dos palabras. In this case, um, vamos a aprender cómo utilizarlos, because uh, in this case we have four, four different words uh, that we can use. We have this, that, this, and those. Tenemos esas cuatro, pero nos vamos a enfocar solo en estas dos. In this case, we can say that they are demonstrative, eh, demonstrative words, and we can use the demonstrative words to talk about eh, something singular or something is plural, and if this one is near us or is far away. And in this case, we have four demonstrative in English that are these, that, uh, these, and those. And we are going to use these and that to talk about uh, singular things. And these and those to talk about um, plural things. Estos dos palabras que nosotros tenemos acá se conocen como demonstrativos. Estos demonstrativos nos sirven a nosotros para hablar de cosas que están en plural y en singular, también para decirnos si algo está cerca o está lejos de nosotros. En este caso, utilizamos el this para referirnos a singulares, una sola cosa. Y el this, el siguiente, ¿verdad?, que tenemos ahí, es para referirnos a 
plurales. Um, but I'm going to uh, write some explanation here. This, and we are going to put here singular things. Cosas singulares. Example. This shirt, this bag, this glass, this dog, this girl, this computer, this book, So in this case, we have eight different examples uh, using these, because in this case, we're talking about one thing, una sola cosa, this shirt, esta camisa, this bag, esta eh, cartera, this glass, este vaso, this dog, este perro, this girl, esta niña o esta chica. Um, this computer, esta computadora, this book, este libro, and the last one, this cell phone, este celular. Then we have the second one, that is this, and they are talking about plural. Estamos hablando de plurales, dos o más cosas. So let's see the examples. Number one, these, let's see, let's see, let's see, these pencils, the scars, these bottles, these shoes, This voice, these documents, these coconuts, and these doves. So in that case, we're talking about more than one thing. These pencils, these cars, these bottles, these shoes, these boys, these documents, these coconuts, and these doves. So in that case, when you are going to use it when you have two or more things. And the other one is when you have just one thing. Esa es la diferencia, ¿verdad? Entre esas dos eh, palabras, una es singular y la otra es plural. Ahora, vamos a ver these es singular, así como ya lo habíamos dicho, pero también se utiliza eh, cuando estamos hablando de algo cerca, cerca de nosotros. Por ejemplo, estamos viendo algo frente a nosotros y podemos decir, or create an example like this. This hat is yellow. Because we are seeing the details. Um, or we can use another one. This is yellow. Cuando estamos cerca del objeto al que estamos describiendo. Next one. This is again plural but near. También es cuando tenemos cosas cerca pero son más de una. And we can uh, write the example like this. Okay. 
these hats are yellow. Or we can say these are yellow. So those are the things that we need to know um, about the this and this. Es como la parte más básica del this and this, eh, donde sabemos que uno es plural y el otro es singular. Based on the things that we wrote about uh, the elements that we have on our backs, we are going to make some uh, statements. Según las cosas que nosotros escribimos acerca de nuestra eh, maleta, mochila, or something like that, vamos a utilizar esos elementos y vamos a, escri es, eh, a escribir cinco en singular y cinco en plural. But you are going to tell me the sentence. Ahora no las van a escribir, sino que me las van a decir. So you need to write five with this and five with this. Cinco con singular y cinco con plural. So, um, let's go to create the statement and then I'm going to ask you to read the sentence. Les voy a dar tiempo, escriban sus oraciones y luego van a decirlas. So, let's go.
statements. Vamos a comenzar. I'm going to stop this one. Vamos a detener esto un momento. And we are going to see. Mm. Let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Edwin, Edgardo, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Tell us. This, this target, this laptop, this notebook, this wallet, this phone charger, this case, mm -hmm. this pencil, this book, books, mm -hmm. these folders. Ok, thank you. ¿Puede usted escoger a alguien más de los que estamos en la sesión para que sea el siguiente? Alejandro. Alejandro, are you ready? Todavía no, <laughs> perdón. Ok, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Le voy a dar un poco de tiempo más. And I'm going to choose um, Manuel Josué. Okay, uh, this computer is mine, uh, this cell phone is black, uh, this book is my favorite, uh, this, uh, these are my parents, uh, mm -hmm. their glasses are expensive, mm -hmm. uh, these pencils are yellow. Okay, good, excellent. Manuel, ¿puedes escoger a alguien más? Mm, Moisés. Moises, are you ready? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, this 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 house this house uh, this plant this pizza this TV this table and these balls these doors these pens this case. That's it. Ok, thank you, excellent. ¿Puedes escoger a alguien más, Moisés? Sí. Manuel Eduardo. Manuel Eduardo, are you ready? Yes. Ok. This coin, this shirt is blue, this is my doll, this is my friend, this is my house, for this. These are my pencils, these mm -hmm. chairs, these windows, these computers, these person are nice. Okay, thank you. Very good. ¿Alguien más? ¿Puedes coger a alguien más, Manuel? Uh, Natalie Ramos. Natalie Ramos, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. This is my daughter. This is my work. This is my computer. Okay. This is my. This is my house. And this is my pan. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Alejandro, are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this my cell phone. This my wallet. Mm -hmm. This my earphones. Mm -hmm. This my la laptop. Okay, good. Thank you. Puedes coger a alguien más? Diana. Diana, are you ready? Yes. Okay. This is my cell phone. This is the wallet of my mom. Mm -hmm. This pen is blue. Mm -hmm. This book is amazing. These sunglasses are big. These earphones are yellow. Okay. The, these books are very interesting. Ok, thank you, good job. Eh, Puedes escoger a la última persona. Um, 
Idalia. Idalia, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. And this computer is 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 turner one. This book is it is it green? Okay. This cell phone is it small. Okay. This cat is it black. This pencil is it in my wallet. Wallet, no sé. Wallet. Si lo pronuncié bien. Yes. Wallet. Y no sé si tengo que decir el plural también. Yes, please. Ah, ok, en plural es. These, these pencils are on the table. Mm -hmm. These dogs are hungry. These, perdón. Perdón, no estoy pronunciando mal. Es those, Don't worry. Ducks. Mm -hmm. Those pencils are on the table. table. Mm -hmm. Those dogs are hungry. Those books are on the desk. Those eh, cars are rapid. Okay. Those ap apples are red. Oh, good. Thank you. Very good. Excellent job, everyone. Uh, thank you for your participation. And now we are going to go to the check, the knowledge check to um, complete that activity. Después de la eh, participación, vamos a ir a la plataforma. And we are going to solve the knowledge check. Vamos a resolver el knowledge check que trata sobre estos temas que acabamos de ver. Y si ustedes ya lo completaron, very good, excellent. If not, it's your time to complete. Si no lo han hecho, están a tiempo para completar este. We are going to see the knowledge check 2.4. Es el 2.4. So let's go to the platform. And we are going to solve this one. Okay, this is the knowledge check. Look at the images below and form the correct questions or answer. Vamos a hablar de preguntas. Ya hemos visto más o menos cómo formar las preguntas. En, eh, en este caso, con el that o el, eh, I mean, with el this and this. So we have the example. What are these? And the answer, they are keys. ¿Qué son estos? Esos son llaves, o ellos son llaves, o son las llaves. So, in this case, we have the image, uh, the image, and we have six different things. Tenemos seis cosas diferentes, and we are going to solve the question. But in this case, you are just going to answer. For example, in the number two, what is this? What is in the number two? A CD player, a backpack, or a radio? I see it's a CD player. Good, it's a CD player. Now, number three, what are these? Are this or is this? Uno, dos, o tres. Are these? Two. One or two? two. Are those? Number two, two this one. Next one, what is this? Number four. Let's see, number four and number four. It's a watch, CD player, or a computer. It's a watch. It's a watch. Number five, what? And we are talking about one thing. What, um, So in this case, we need to write, what are these with T-H-A-S or this, T-H-E-S-E? -E. ¿Cuál sería? This is singular. Singular, okay. This. What is? This. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. What are these, number six? 
Look, and what are these? They are sunglasses, backpacks, or cell phones. They are sunglasses. Okay. And let's go to see the answers. All of them are correct. Todas ellas están buenas. Number one is a CD player. Next one are these. Uh, it's a watch. It's this. They are sunglasses. Okay. They are correct. All of them. Excelente. Si ustedes no han completado, es momento de que puedan ir completando eh, esta parte de la plataforma para que no se vayan a atrasar. Remember that we were talking about questions and in this, um, the next topic it is related to the yes, no questions with the verb to be. But uh, we were talking about that topic before and now you have the knowledge to complete the next section. We're going to complete the knowledge check 2.7. Because in that case, it's better for you to complete um, at least two knowledge check in the session. Vamos a completar dos knowledge check en la sesión, así que vamos a completar 2.7, que tiene que ver con preguntas um, con el verbo to be y la respuesta del sí y el no. So, let's go to see the next one. Es knowledge check 2.7. And it says, complete the conversation, select the correct answer for each sentence or question. Vamos a eh, seleccionar la respuesta para cada una de las eh, oraciones o preguntas que aparecen ahí. So, number one, this is your umbrella. No, it is not. ¿Qué le podemos agregar a esa pregunta? Is. Ok. Is. Number two. These your keys? Yes, they are. En ese le vamos a agregar are, is, or what? Are. Are, very good. Next oh. one, number three. Are my glasses? They are on the table. Le vamos a agregar how, where, or when? Where. Where, de donde. Number four, that is the last one. Is this my pen? No, it is my. Le vamos a agregar, it is not, it is, they are not. It is not. It is not. Good. And let's see. Okay, they are correct. Ahí está la respuesta para que ustedes vayan chequeando también. In the number one, is. Number two, are. Number three, where. Number four, it's not. And that's it. It's very, very short uh, knowledge check. Okay, we have there the two uh, knowledge check for today. Esos son los dos uh, knowledge check que vamos a realizar hoy. Now, we are going to watch a video in which we are going to learn something about the prepositions. But I need to say something. Um, this week, we are going to work the five days. So we are going to work even tomorrow. Vamos a um, tener otra sesión el día de mañana. Así que recuerden que mañana también tenemos sesión. Porque normalmente son eh, de cuatro días. But in this case, we are going to have five days. Así que nos vamos a ver siempre el viernes. Bueno, en este caso de esta semana. And I think that the next one too. Um, and we are going to complete all the things that we have in this um, section number two. And we are going to make like a review of the, of the topic that we are going to see right now. Vamos a dejar comenzado el tema de hoy y mañana lo más seguro es que lo completemos, lo terminemos. Because we are going to make a explanation about the, the topic and also um, we are going to make some exercises related to that topic. Así que vamos a eh, hacer como las explicaciones un poco más detalladas el día de mañana y también un par de ejercicios que tengan que ver con el tema que vamos a ver en este momento. So, 
let's go to see the video that is talking about preposition. Vamos a hablar de las preposiciones. And in this case, we have in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. So let's go to see and pay attention to the video. And I'm going to share the sound because we need to listen the explanation. So let's see. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now we have there the different prepositions that we are going to use. But I need to show you again the image, but in this case, it is not uh, related to the, to the video. I'm going to put the image on the document. So let me have the image here. And then we are going to see the other part. Vamos a ver las dos partes que aparecen en el video. Una que son las preposiciones y la otra es la del ejercicio. So let's see the two things and we are going to do something with them. So I am putting the image on the document. Give me a second. Okay, this one. Because I need to put them together because it, it's going to be easier to complete the exercise. Okay. And that's it. Oh. Okay, like this. Okay, we have here the two different images. Tenemos las dos imágenes. La primera es la de las preposiciones y la siguiente es el ejercicio. And in this case, we are just going to do it very fast to complete. Tenemos la pregunta y la respuesta. Where are the keys? ¿Dónde están las llaves? And the answer, the keys are in the box. In, 
is the place. In se refiere al lugar donde están posicionadas. And we have in, que si ustedes se fijan es dentro. In front of, enfrente de. Behind, detrás. On, encima o sobre. Next to, a un lado, a la par. And under, debajo. Siguiendo esa parte de las preposiciones, eh, vamos a responder esta parte de abajo. We have different things. The books are in the book bag. The eh, books are in, están dentro. The DVD player is. ¿Dónde está el DVD player del televisor? Next to television. Ah, next to the television. Good. Next one, the map is. ¿En qué lugar está el mapa? Under the newspaper. Good, very good. Under the newspaper. The chair is. ¿Dónde está posicionada la silla? Behind. Behind the desk. Excellent. Behind the desk. The wallet is, ¿dónde está la cartera o la billetera? On the bag. On the bag, good, está sobre, ¿verdad? And the last one, the cell phone is, ¿dónde está posicionado el celular? In front. In front of the address book. Excelente, muy bien. This is just one exercise that we are going to perform with this topic of the prepositions. And tomorrow we are going to do another one. Mañana vamos a hacer otro ejercicio de las preposiciones. Este solo es el que nos presenta la plataforma. Y mañana vamos a continuar con lo demás. So, now it's time to end the session. Thank you for your time and thank you for your participation. We are going to see each other tomorrow. Have a really good uh, afternoon and night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.